I'm Peter Kalmus. I'm a NASA climate scientist speaking on my own behalf, and I'm going to explain the idea of climate irreversibility. I don't think many people understand how irreversible climate damage is. So I say it's effectively irreversible because it could take you know, dozens or hundreds or thousands of human generations before some of these impacts from fossil fuel global heating uh, start to fade away and the planet gets back to normal. So there's three key timescales I want to talk about for how long climate damage is going to be with us here on planet Earth. The first one is just how long the planet's going to be hotter. When we burn fossil fuels and that carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere, it stays there for quite a long time. We call that the residence time of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And it's hundreds, many hundreds of years. There's many processes by which carbon dioxide comes back out of the atmosphere. For all of it to come out is going to take a very long time. And that means that this is the blanket causing the planet to be hotter. This means that the planet's going to stay hotter for a very long time. And how long that is depends on how bad we let it get. If we go into emergency mode, mitigate like our lives depend on it, which they do, we could see peak temperature temperatures later this century and then after 2100 the planet would start to cool off and we would all breathe a huge collective sigh of relief as would all the other life on planet earth. If however we continue to expand fossil fuels like Biden is doing with the Willow Project, with the Mountain Valley Pipeline and other corporate and world leaders around the world are doing right now, insane idea to expand fossil fuels right now, but that's where we are as a global civilization, as a global society, then we will see peak temperatures much, much later, maybe in, in the 2100s, maybe even later than that. And it will take hundreds of years for temperatures to come back down to a basically civilization friendly level. So we want to avoid that. The second time scale I wanna talk about is ice sheets and sea level rise. We've locked in quite a bit of ice sheet melt now, which means quite a bit of sea level rise. About half of sea level rise is due to melting ice sheets. Interestingly, the other half is due to just the water thermally expanding as it gets hotter. And we've seen some just crazy ocean heat, especially this summer. So it could take thousands or tens of thousands of years for ice sheets to start to refreeze. So this is, we're starting to get to the longer tail of climate damage. And then the longest time scale of all is recovery of life on Earth. So we are in a sixth mass extinction. This is being caused primarily by two industries, the fossil fuel industry and the animal agriculture industry. It's being caused by extreme heat killing coral reefs, uh, killing forests, destroying the Amazon. Uh, Amazon might now actually be past its tipping point. There might not be any way to save it at this point. That's a huge amount of biodiversity loss. In the previous mass extinctions on Earth, we can look at the fossil record and we note that it takes roughly 10 million years for biodiversity to recover after an extinction event of this magnitude. So that is a lot of human generations. And that is why I say that climate damage is effectively irreversible and we all have to fight like hell to stop it and keep the damage to the minimum. Undeniable.